Libya is a predominantly Muslim country in northern Africa with a large Muslim population. It is surrounded by the Mediterranean Sea and six countries, Tunisia, Algeria, Sudan, Chad, Egypt, and Niger. Tripoli, the country's capital, and largest city is situated in the country's northwestern corner. The population of Libya is 7.2 million people. Libya, the fourth largest country in Africa by land area, has a variety of distinguishing qualities, which we have highlighted in this video. Here are the 10 interesting facts you did not know about Libya. Number 10. Libya's longest serving leader was Muammar Gaddafi. Libya was taken over by Gaddafi in 1969, and he ruled the country for 42 years. As a result, he will go down in history as one of Africa's and the world's longest-serving heads of state. Gaddafi was well known as tough leader. He did however, do his country proud by improving the quality of its healthcare services to the point where they are now among the best in Africa. Furthermore, he increased Libya's literacy rate from 25% prior to 87% during his reign. His reign came to an end in 2011 when the military ousted him from power. At the time of his death, Gaddafi's net worth was reported to exceed $200 billion. Number 9. Libyans have distinctive dietary habits. For Libyan families, lunch is the most significant meal of the day, and it has a lot of symbolic meaning. For a few hours, companies, businesses, and schools close to allow families to eat together. Green tea is used to aid digestion after meals. Popular beverages include tea and coffee. The consistency of Libyan tea is comparable to that of black syrup. Libyan cuisine is influenced by the Mediterranean, Africa, and Italy. Ingredients include dates, olives, fruits, lamb, poultry, milk, and grains, particularly couscous. Sweet peppers that have been stuffed can be found in a variety of recipes. It's critical to use spices effectively to achieve the perfect blend of popular flavors. Number 8. Muslim nation with a rich Christian history. In Libya, Christianity is presently considered a minority religion. On the other side, the country is deeply founded in Christianity. Simon the Syrian and Saint Mark the Evangelist are two biblical figures with strong ties to Libya. Simon of Syrian was a Cyrenian who was forced to help Jesus Christ in carrying his cross. Syrian was a Libyan city that thrived for hundreds of years until being destroyed by the Romans. The Church of Alexandria, on the other hand, was founded in Egypt in 49 AD by Saint Mark. Who was at the time the author of the Gospel of Mark? Many of Libya's Eastern Orthodox churches, Coptic churches, and Greek Orthodox churches can trace their roots back to this church. Number 7. Libya possesses the largest proven oil reserves in Africa. Libya went from being one of the world's poorest countries to becoming one of the richest after the discovery of oil in the 1950s. According to the International Energy Agency, the country produced 1.8 million barrels of oil per day. In the modern period, oil and petroleum products account for most of the country's exports and government revenue. It also ranks in Africa's top 15 most prosperous economies, alongside South Africa, Nigeria, Algeria, and Egypt. Number 6. Libya has only had one king in its history. Libya's first and only king, King Idris I, reigned for a total of 40 years. He was a political and religious leader who was born into the Sanusi order and led it for many years. Following the termination of colonial control in Libya, King Idris I served as Emir of Cyanaica before succeeding to the throne of Libya in 1951. The king's rule was unpopular throughout the country due to his conservatism. In 1969, Libyan King Idris I was deposed in a coup headed by Colonel Gaddafi, who would later become the country's leader. Number 5. Libya's Gadanes is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Gadanes, often known as the Pearl of the Desert, is located within an oasis. It's one of the world's oldest pre-Saharan towns, and it's a fascinating illustration of a traditional community at that time. The domestic architecture of the country is characterized by a vertical division of functions. The ground floor is used for storing supplies. The first floor is used for the family. The second floor has overhanging covered alleys that appear to create an underground network of passageways. And the top floor has open-air terraces reserved for the family's female members. 
UNESCO declared this part of town, which is surrounded by a city wall, as a World Heritage Site in 1986. Number 4. Libya Sahara Desert has been dry for decades. The Libyan desert is renowned for enduring lengthy periods of time without receiving any rain. The eastern and northern parts of the Sahara Desert make up the Libyan desert. It is the world's largest desert. In a perfect world, a piece of the Sahara Desert in Libya would be the location. For good reason, the Libyan desert is usually considered as the harshest, driest, and most remote region of the Sahara. With daily temperatures reaching up to 50 degrees Celsius, this region may go for years without receiving any rain. Number 3. Libyans and their culture. Approximately 97% of the population is made up of Berber and Arab ethnic groups. The Berbers, the country's first residents, are considered to have arrived in Libya around 1200 BC. Arabs began to settle in the area around 700 AD, after the rise in popularity of Islam. Greeks, Egyptians, and Italians all have modest numbers in the country. Today, most Libyans speak Arabic, and around 97% of the population is Muslim. Orthodox Christians and Roman Catholics make up a small percentage of the population. Number 2. Tripoli is the capital of Libya. Tripoli is the capital and largest city of Libya, as well as its harbor. Tripoli is also home to most Libya's international businesses. Tripoli derives its name from the Greek word Tripolis, which means three cities. The Arabic name for it is Terabulus. It's on the edge of the desert, on a rocky ledge that juts out into the Mediterranean and serves as a small harbor. Tripoli is regarded as the mermaid of the Mediterranean because of its turquoise waters and whitewashed structures. Tripoli's ancient center, the Medina, preserves much of its medieval aspect. The Red Castle Museum, with its vast castle complex and multiple courtyards, is located on the outskirts of the Medina. Number 1. Libya imports between 75% and 80% of its food. Due to the country's inability to grow food on its own soil, Libya imports the great bulk of the food it consumes. As a result of its geographical location within the huge Sahara Desert, Libya receives very little precipitation. It also has poor soil and a harsh climate, both of which make agricultural productivity difficult. Former Libyan President Muammar Gaddafi made a huge attempt to turn the situation around, by sponsoring the Great Man-Made River Project which was built for the purpose of irrigation of agricultural fields. This project ended up being the world's largest irrigation project in history. It is made up of a 1,750-mile-long network of subsurface water pipelines. However, the resident's survival is still reliant on food imports from neighboring countries. What do you think of our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thank you for watching.